What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. We got a fun video today. We are going to span four different knives, four different locking mechanisms, four different steels, everything from uh, cheap budget steel all the way up to a super steel. So I am excited to look at these. It's going to be a fast fun video so stick around and check that out. But if you have not liked and subscribed to our channel already, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. We're going to continue to make content. We'd love for you to see it. Also head over to Instagram and follow us at work knife balance 939 we post videos pictures all that cool stuff little sneak peeks on what content is coming soon and it's a great way to connect with us let us know what you want to see what you don't want to see what you like what you don't like and let us know if you want to send a knife in for review if you do we're going to send you this sweet little sticker back along with your knife when we're done with the review and everything will be fine and dandy i'm gonna go ahead and set three of these over to the side real quick so we can get started with this first one right here this is the remet peacock this comes in at nine cr mov steel has amazing action this is an amazon exclusive knife this is frn on the handle not a g10 here really good grippiness but that action is something that is one of the reasons this is on this video right here so for what it is I believe it's like 30 bucks and it has amazing drop shut action with really good detent to whip out there this did come uh, pretty much set like this i got two of these i got the blue one and then i got the hot pink one for my wife and then we swapped backspacers so mine has the hot pink backspacer and her has the blue backspacer on it now so this is pretty cool uh one miss they did not make it ambidextrous so you only have the clip on one side uh not too horrible especially for a 30 dollar knife but I love the fact that it is a really nice nested liner lock in there so you don't lose any on the weight. And it is, like I said, absolute banger of action for what it is. It's the Remet Peacock. We'll go ahead and put video or links to all these knives later if we can, if I can find them. Next up, I have the VFX um, OTF. So this is a D2 Steel OTF, comes in that red. I really believe they were going for a Microtech look in how they put this knife together. This is the VFX. Um, so this was another Amazon buy. This was a $35 OTF, but the action on this thing is so snappy. It's been pretty cool. Has D2 steel. I don't have to worry about this. This is a really cool kind of like intro level. Wanted to know if I even liked OTFs. It is a double action OTF and it has been fantastic. I keep this kind of just in my beater backpack. Don't have to worry about it or anything like that. Has a really cool little uh, drop point blade to it with the black and then steel look to it. Uh, yeah, there's not much to say about it. it it's just a cool little beater otf and i like it because i don't have to worry about it and i didn't drop 200 300 400 600 bucks on a knife with a glass break that is a double action this was just 35 bucks on amazon and it's been pretty amazing to have in the collection so far up next is probably going to be most people's budget knife of the year this is the cjrb pyrite in the warren cliff so the pyrite was absolutely a banger a smash hit when it came out the button on it was fantastic cjrb really knows what they're doing best button lock in the system i would say uh, but when they made it in the warren cliff blade they just took it to the next level. And so this has become probably my budget choice for the year. Uh, we have a video on it and it does get a lot of action in my pocket. Ambidextrous on the carry right there, which is pretty cool. I really love the reverse flick. You can also do the whip out with the button lock. And if you needed to, you can get in here and thumb it out as well or slow roll. So it's a really good knife. It has a lot of fun whippiness to it. Um, I believe these come in at about 55 bucks on Amazon, so we'll put, post a link down below for that as well. Last but not least, uh, probably one of the most premium knives I've got in my collection for more than a couple reasons, but number one, this is Vanix Super Clean Steel. You can see it right there. This is the Kunwu S Tau. This knife is an absolute guillotine. You can see how it just drops shut there. It is a fantastic knife. You do have the reverse flick on it. You do have the thumb flick on it. You do have the back flipper on it. And you can go ahead and front flip that as well. You might even be able to get in here if you wanted to and do a, yeah, you can do a top flip with that too. So this Kunwu S-Tau is amazing. This is Kunwu's 
second most recent release. We're waiting for the Chad to come out, which is going to be in Vanix as well. But there's just so much in this knife that the others don't have. And it holds a much more premium price because of it. The chamfering around the edge, titanium frame lock, Timascus around the pivot collar. More than anything, also that Vanix super clean steel right there. This knife has the most amazing action for a knife in this price range you will ever find. Nothing out there is gonna beat the budget on this right now. These do come in around 300 bucks, uh, but they are absolutely worth every penny, if not more, for what you're getting on this knife right here. That was just a rapid review on four amazing knives that I think are definitely worth the money. We'll go ahead and post links down below. The Remet Peacock, the VFX OTF, the uh, CGRB Pyrite uh, in the Warncliffe, and then the Kumu S-Tau with the Vanek Super Clean. Until next time, TTFN.